is this? It looks like it's a potato seed, but it's not a potato seed. What are you? Hey guys, welcome back to Minis Mods. Um, today we're going to actually try something that I haven't played around with yet, um, but I sort of have at the same time. There's a new mod that I found, it's called the Auto Grabber mod. Um, so, of course, as you think, it deals with the Auto Grabber. And typically, what we're using the Auto Grabber for is for these guys here. So for our barns and for the coops, we have the auto grabber that collects these certain products. We collect the eggs and the wool from the ducks, chickens, and uh, the rabbits that we have here. However, um, from what I've understood, these mods also have something different with it. If we press the Z button, we're able to go in and configure certain things about it. So we can... Ooh, okay. For some reason my thing's being all fucked up. So we have the barn, we have the farm, we have the deluxe coop, and we have global options. So in the entire world that we have here, we're able to change the range of how far it can grab certain things. So it can show the grid, we can show the range grid when we go over it, or we can just show it entirely. The auto grab would be able to harvest uh, crops, it'd be able to hold tiles, it can fertilize soil, it can seed, there's watering, it can pick up forageables, it can dig up auto crops, and it can also auto pet. So when it's able to auto pet, it can make the animals happy. In order for it to auto pet, so we can see here that this is only going to affect these certain tiles right here. Which isn't too many. I also can't click into it for some reason. Let me in you! I wonder if I... Can I just hit my hoe with it? No? Oh, there we go. There we go. No, that's better. So this is what I set it up to when we press Z for the global options. It has a larger range like this. But if we go into the farm, we can set this that it will auto dig, harvest the crops, it'll hoe the tiles, fertilize the soil, plant and water, and we can gain the experience from that. So if we set it like this, we exit out. And I think in the morning, if we fall asleep, it will do that. So it needs to have seeds and fertilizer. The only water capacity that it has is up to level 4. What we can do to add to it is we can get a chest. This is where the both the automate mod and the chest anywhere mod comes in. So we can actually add things in here. So this will be for outside auto. And so inside here we can just spawn these things in. We can get some seeds. So let's get... What year... What, what, are we in spring? What time are we in? I don't even know what time we're in. Um, one sec. We are in the summer of year one. There we go. So we just need some summer seeds. So let's go to seeds and crops. We can sort it by category if we want. Make it easier for ourselves. Let's get star fruit. We also are going to need a sprinkler, so let's get some iridium sprinklers. Get a stack of it, just to sh start off, and we'll get some fertilizer. So the way this works is that we can put these objects inside the auto. So we'll put the star fruit in. The way that it counts how much tiles it can water is by how many iridium sprinklers you put in. So if we put in six, it should tell us that it can there you go. It can water 144 out of 4 tiles. So it'll be able to water this entire area perfectly fine. There are 999 seeds within it. And then we pop in the fertilizer. And it also has 999 fertilizer. So in the morning we can come back and take a look at this. And I'm actually going to turn off that you can see the grid. I don't want to show- I don't want to see the grid. Get rid of that grid. Thank you. Perfect. So that should be working in the morning, hopefully. If not, we'll figure out what we can do. All these guys need to be petted. We can also put another auto grabber out here. 
So with this auto grabber, we can stick it oh, right in front of me here. So this one is also the location, which is 1017. We press Z, and we are going to have it to hmm, auto forage. So it'll pick up the truffles or increase its range to as far as it can go. And that'll be good. So in the morning, it should be able to collect these truffles by themselves. Now there's this auto grabber in here. Because the animals are inside of here, we are going to be able to gain experience, but also have them pet the animals. And that should technically work out. We'll see <laughs> if it does or not. Because <laughs> this is, to me, brand new, and we'll see how it works. We'll increase range all the way, of course. And we'll go do the same thing over here in the coop. So for each area that you go to, you have to be able to control it and change it yourself. So we're going to forage, which is to pick up all the stuff, and pet the animals. We should also put on the gain experience because you get experience for petting the animals. You get actually... Do I have the mod that shows me how much? Nope, I don't have the mod that shows me how much experience I get. But we can pet all these fuckers and make them happy. And then we can leave if I can get out of here. Thank you, Jesus. Fuck. Okay. So I'm gonna see if this works out properly or not. Um, let's go to sleep and see if it does. See if it did anything. There we go. Look at that. So all by itself, it planted, fertilized, and watered these seeds. And once they're done, it should be able to harvest all of them. And then it'll automatically replant and it'll just go on and on and on. Now, if we check here, looks like we have a truffle that it collected, so it's on the way to doing what it needs to do. These animals do say they haven't been petted though, so not too sure about that. They probably have to be inside here for it to pet. We can try and see if this one will auto-pet these animals or not. No, nope, looks like they still need to be petted, so it will probably work with the auto pet if you close them in and then they'll be fine. I'm not too sure how it's going to work fully if I'm being honest, but it does have the ability to do that, which would help you out because the happier the animals are, the better quality things you'll get. So if that's what will help you out, that's what will help you out. What is this? It looks like it's a potato seed, but it's not a potato seed. What are you? Anyways, um, yeah, that's the autograver mod for you, so it can help you out, definitely, and you can see how it works in the long term. But it can also collect just regular forageables, so if you put one of these out in the wild, say, if you put it out here, in this area, where we have both artifacts and forageables that will show up, we can put it down just out here in the middle of nowhere in the backwoods. Press Z, increase its range to dig artifacts and pick up the forageables. And also to gain experience because you get experience from getting forageables. If so, you're able to have pretty much this entire area if I'm correct, and it will collect all the things. We can go to sleep and test it out. And so it looks like it hoed up the artifact and it has something in it. So it has two grapes and three clay. So that's what I got from the artifact spot. And there were two grapes lying around here or because my foraging is high enough, it picked up two grapes and it put it in here. So anytime anything spawns here, it'll pick it up and we'll be good with it. Pretty handy dandy. And I would assume this would also work down at the beach, so we can go to the beach and give it a test. I also decided to stick one up here so it could collect all the artifacts that pop up here, because there are a fair amount that pop up on the path here, and also to get all the goods that come up in this area, because as you can see, there's four, three flowers alone, and then there's the wonderful grapes over here. Okay, so we're down at the water. The only thing that's kind of tricky is figuring out a spot that no one's going to walk into, but also that is within range to grab everything. I'm going to say up here is okay. 
We're going to increase the range fully, we're going to dig artifacts, and we're going to click out forgeables, and we're also going to gain experience from it. So hopefully, if this works out, we should have a couple of them. I think I'm going to put one over here, just to increase the range, because you never know. Okay, so I also put one on the far side here, as it has all the corals that pop up, it also has the artifacts that show up over here so that we can collect these ones and then here should be able to at least reach all of this area so we can go home sleep see and come back so we leveled up while we were sleeping we can go to the beach and check out everything but why don't we stop here and see first so we got the sweet peas and we got the grapes the way these will work they'll always collect first thing in the morning so everything that's lying around they'll pick it up then now let's check this out we got stuff in here look at that that's all fucking haul. So you have gold ore, we have the anchor, we have the rainbow shell, muscle clam, rainbow shell, more coral, and a sea urchin. So that's rocking out. Seems like it reached all the way to here. So we didn't even need these guys over here because that one picks it up. Perfect. So that reaches all the way to the other side and it's just sitting right here. So that worked out really well. So that's the auto grabber mod which is a very good one and i suggest if you want some mods to help your life make it easy but also to gain experience while you're doing it since you're going to be really busy early in the game by the time you're late in game you won't really have too many things to do because everything should kind of be automated for you at that point um but if you want some help so you don't have to run to the beach and run to every other place that has forages popping up like by the community center perhaps um you can just set one of these down set them to the farthest range they can get to have them dig up the artifacts and have them dig or grab the forageables and that's just money in the bank right there so that's pretty great that's really awesome and you can even see where it dug it up which is really neat too <laughs> i actually kind of like that so anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. That was the auto grabber mod. See you later.